Hi guys, Julie here aka Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as a quick reminder, please subscribe, like and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new tutorial. Let me know what you think about this sweater in the comment section down below this tutorial or if you have any questions um, crochet related um, you can leave me also a comment down below i am happy to help you and in the meanwhile thank you all for joining me today i wish you happy crocheting and till next time bye bye so for today's project which is a sweater i'm going to use this yarn here it's a blend of wool uh, 50 grams 135 meters each skin um, then I'm going to work uh, all my panels with a four millimeter crochet hook and for the ribbing I'm going to use a three millimeter crochet hook then you are also going to need a yarn needle um, for the sewing measuring tape and some stitch markers and of course a pair of scissors although the materials are going to be listed down below so don't forget to check this out we are going to start by making first two similar panels one for the front and one for the back and we are going to start um, at the bottom of the sweater so this is how it's going to look like there are 33 rows in total my sweater is going to be a size medium and the panel is almost 60 centimeters wide by 40 centimeters long okay now to start your panel go ahead and take um, the color that you want i'm going to start with mustard and your four millimeter crochet hook and chain the uh, width that you need for your size so in my case i'm going to chain 72 to then have a total of 70 stitches okay so you are going to start by making a slip knot and then chain the width that you need i also want to mention that if you have problems in keeping a loose tension when you are chaining so you need to have a loose chain as you can see you can also switch to a uh, five millimeter hook only for the chain so once you have your chain done you are going to yarn over and then skip your first three chains and then go in the next one in your fourth chain away from the hook and make a double crochet and then continue by making one double crochet in each chain across and then I'll meet you back at the end of the first row so as you can see the pattern it's a repeat of four rows now uh, once you're at the end of your first round i've already cut the yarn uh, you are not going to finish so this is your last chain right here you are not going to finish your last stitch because we are going to change color so you have two loops on your hook now take your main color for the front and the back panel and then make a slip knot and you are going to finish this last stitch this last double crochet with your new color like so and now to start your second row you are going to chain three this counts as your first double crochet turn your work and now we are going to make a crossed double crochets so yarn over skip the next stitch and in the next one you are going to make one double crochet and then again yarn over and now we are going to go uh, to go in the skipped one so go back in your skipped double crochet and make your double crochet and again yarn over skip one 
double crochet in the next yarn over and then go back in the one that you just skipped one more time yarn over skip one double crochet in the next yarn over double crochet in the one that you've skipped like so and this is how you are going to work till the end of your second round at the end of your second round you are going to have one stitch left and there you are going to make one double crochet so here i am at the end of my uh, row i have one stitch left which is a double crochet in the last stitch uh, which is uh, your chain three so on top of your third chain like so now we are going to repeat this second row two more times so you are going to chain one turn your work this is your first double crochet and now we are going to make our crossed double crochets on top of the crossed double crochet so yarn over skip the next double crochet in the next yarn over double crochet into your skipped one and again yarn over skip one double crochet in the next yarn over double crochet in the one that you've already skipped and again skip one double crochet in the next yarn over go back and make <coughs> excuse me and make your double crochet <coughs> so repeat your second rows two more time so see i have three rows in total so uh, three rows done now we are going to change color again i'm going to take this dark red make a slip knot and finish my last double crochet with my new color so for this you are going to make a slip knot and pull through your two loops and then you are going to chain three at this point you can cut oh i already cut my white color so you can cut your white color so your main color turn your work and now we are going to start right here with this double crochet row so you are just going to double crochet in each stitch across and then once you have this done you are going to change color in your um, last stitch take again your main color for the panels and then make your three rows with this uh, crossed double crochet so i'm going to work my remaining rows of camera and then i'll meet you back again okay so once you have your front and back panel done you are going to make two panels for these sleeves so these are my sleeves i've worked over 45 stitches um only double crochet rows and i have 22 uh, rows in total so go ahead and make two sleeves and then once you have all of your panels done and also blocked you are going to lay them like so and make your shoulder seaming and also sew your sleeves and make your side seaming put some stitch markers so that you know where the head opening is going to be for the head opening i've um, sewn over 25 stitches on each shoulder side okay so uh, once you sewn all your pieces together so here are the shoulders and um, um, sleeves uh, by the way to make the side seam i've used my uh, leftover yarns now it's time to make the border so we are going to add some ribbing at the bottom of the sweater and also on the sleeves i'm going to start 
right here in on on the side doesn't matter which side and for this we are going to work with our three millimeter crochet hook you can also work with your four millimeter hook if you prefer so so I'm going to go in the stitch and I'm also going to work over my tail right here so go ahead and make a slip knot and then chain the length that you want to add to the sweater okay so I've chained um, 15 now I'm going to chain one more this is going to be my turning chain and then go in the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet and then make one single crochet in your remaining chains so at the end of this first row I'm going to have a total of 15 single crochet once you're at the end of the chain you are going to slip stitch in your next two stitches so one and two and then you are going to turn your work skip your first two stitches and then in your third stitch you are going to single crochet in the back loop only and then in the next stitch also in the back loop only and this is how you are going to work all the way around the bottom of your sweater I'm going to work all these rows of camera and I'm also going to put some ribbing um, for the cups and I'm also going to work over um, 15 a single crochet stitches to finish uh, my cups I just want to make this row with you now in this last stitch right here let me pull in a little bit I like to go under both loops like so to finish um, the row oh and then to start my next row so chain one this is your turning chain I like also to make a regular single crochet so go under both loops like so and then I'm going to continue into the back loop only with my single crochets once you have your ribbing done a slip stitch to close or use your yarn needle and then your sweater is done